240 billion dollars holy man that's that's an unfathomable amount of money i can't even imagine that money <laughs> Kamusta? Mabuhay, magandang umaga, and welcome back to MGN Diego. Oh, was Vela, and before we start this video, I just want to thank everyone that commented on the uh, Pinoy baiting video that I made. I honestly was overwhelmed with the beautiful comments regarding uh, the channel MGN and honestly I did not make that video uh, because I was questioning my uh, you know morality or uh, my intentions towards the, the, the Philippines by making uh, by concentrating the bulk part of this channel for Filipinos honestly I made it so that I could shed more light on the subject because I really thought that that subject was extremely interesting but yes thank you so so much for the sweetest comments out there I was overwhelmed by the positivity in the comment section honestly thank you so much maraming maraming salamat po guys um, but yeah, today I will be reacting to a special video again out of nowhere. Uh, people are asking me to react to this video called Marcos Gold and the Richest Countries in the World. And in this description, it says the list of 11 countries that hold the most gold in their reserve. Uh, did you know about Marcos Gold? Marcos Gold can save Philippines in and the world. Let everyone know the truth. So is Marcos Gold different from regular gold? I don't know. What is this? And apparently the Philippines has some of it. So I cannot wait to learn a little bit more about that. And hopefully you can learn something from it as well. But before we start, please consider following me on Instagram at Music Game News. All right, without further ado, Let's get to it. Welcome to Puedeli TV. If you're new to this channel, please subscribe and hit the notification bell. Thank you. So dramatic. The list of 11 countries that hold the most gold in their reserves has remained mostly unchanged over the last few years. Flip through this slideshow to discover wow. which century. Wow, this person copied PewDiePie's, you know, style. Look at that. PewDiePie TV. Oh, God. Central banks value the yellow metal the most. 11. Netherlands. Netherlands. 612.5 tons. The Dutch Central Bank announced that it will be moving its gold vaults from Amsterdam to Camp New Amsterdam, about an hour outside the city, citing burdensome security measures of its current location. As many others have pointed out, this seems odd. Get For those of you who didn't know, I visited uh, the Netherlands when I was about 12 years old. I spent like a whole three weeks there. It was fun. Given that the bank fairly recently repatriated a large amount of its gold from the United States. Number 10. India. 618.2 tons. It's no surprise that the Bank of India has one of the largest stores of gold in the world. The South Asian country, home to 1.25 billion people. What is the value of this gold? That is the question. Is the second largest consumer of the precious metal and is one of the most reliable drivers of global demand. India's festival and wedding season, which runs from October to December, has historically been a huge boon to gold's love trade. Number 9. Japan. Japan. 765.2 tons. Japan. The world's third largest economy is also the largest hoarder of the yellow metal. Its central bank has been one of the most aggressive practitioners of quantitative easing. In January 2016, it lowered interest rates below zero, which has helped fuel demand for gold around the world. Number 8. Switzerland. Switzerland. 1040.0 tons. In 8th place is Switzerland which actually has the world's largest reserves of gold per capita. During World War II, the neutral country became the And Switzerland is such a tiny, tiny country, man. ...center of the gold trade in Europe, making transactions with both the Allies and Axis powers. Today, much of its gold trading is done with Hong Kong and China. Number 7. Chi 
So Switzerland is a neutral country, as you know, we all know, but it's also very small and apparently very clean and apparently very rich, but also extremely boring. And I also hear that there is some racism there. China, 1,936.5 oh tons. In the summer of 2015, the People's Bank of China began sharing its gold purchasing activity on a monthly basis for the first time since 2009. Although China comes in seventh for most gold held, the yellow metal accounts for only a small percentage of its overall reserves, a mere 2.8%, the lowest of the top 10 central banks with the most gold. China has actually been on a gold buying spree since December 2018 buying almost 100 tons from then through August. Number 6. Russia. 2002. So far, there is no point in watching the video. Like, this could be a podcast because they keep showing us just pictures of gold. You know, like it could be a picture of any gold. 219.2 tons. The Russian Central Bank has been the largest buyer of gold for the past seven years and overtook China in 2018 to have the sixth largest reserves. In 2017 Russia bought 224 tons of bullion in an effort to diversify away from the US dollar, as its relationship with the West has grown chilly since the annexation of the Crimean Peninsula in mid-2014. To raise the cash for these purchases, Russia sold a huge percentage of its US treasuries. Number 5. France. 2,436.1 tons. France's central bank has sold little of its gold over the past several years. How do we know that this info is actually accurate? Like, we gotta go check, man, somewhere. And there are calls to halt it altogether. Marine Le Pen, president of the country's far-right National Front Party, has led the charge not only to put a freeze on selling the nation... Because this robotic voice that is narrating the video is not making me trust the information. I don't know why gold but also to repatriate the entire amount from foreign vaults. Number 4. Italy. 2,451.8 tons. Italy has likewise maintained the size of its reserves over the years, and it has support from European Central Bank, ECB, President Mario Draghi. The former Bank of Italy governor, when asked by a reporter in 2013 what role gold plays in a central bank's portfolio, answered that the metal was a reserve of safety, adding, it gives you a fairly good protection against fluctuations against the dollar. Number 3. Germany. Of course Germany had to be in the list. <laughs> 3,366.8 tons. In 2017 Germany completed a four-year repatriation operation to move a total of 674 tons of gold from the Bank de France and the Federal Reserve Bank of New York back to its own vaults. First announced in 2013, the move was expected to take until 2020 to complete. Although gold demand fell in 2017 after hitting an all-time high in 2016, this European country has seen gold investing steadily rise since the global financial crisis. Number 2. United States. 8,100. Wow, what a surprise. That is a lot tons. of tons, man. 8,000 tons. God damn. With the second largest official holdings in the world, the U.S. lays claim to nearly as much gold as the next three countries combined. It yeah. also has the second highest gold allocation as a percentage of its foreign reserves. It's and yet, the United States, isn't it like the, the country that has the most debts in the world or something like that? Go figure. Uh, I'm guessing the Philippines is number one, and I'm going to try to guess it'll be over 10,000 tons, something like that, or 9,000 and something, something. 76%. From what we know, the majority of U.S. gold is held at Fort Knox in Kentucky, with the remainder held at the Philadelphia Mint, Denver Mint, San Francisco SA office and West Point Bullion Depository. Number 1. Philippines. Over a million tons. <laughs> That's the exact face that I made. What? Bruh! <laughs> No, I did not expect that. Honestly, like I said, I was predicting maybe 10,000 tons. 
over a million tons. I mean, this difference is ridiculous. The contrast is insane. Okay, but that's the thing. What is Marco's gold? What's the value of this gold? And why is the Philippines still considered a third world country suffering from, you know, uh, poverty if they have so much mm, gold in stores? You know, it doesn't make any sense. No, I need more information about Marco's gold and I hope at the end of this they will explain it. They are sitting on top of the world's wealth, which was put into a secret account and it has more gold than anybody knows about. A assets, it's gold. It's more gold than people know about. It's over a million metric tons of gold. <laughs> so a million metric tons of gold is not something you can just... Huh. So where's the gold? Is that another reaction video? Awesome. 400,000 metric tons are in the central bank of the Philippines. <laughs> There's over 200,000 metric tons in Union Bank of Switzerland, and some of that gold is buried securely in the Philippines as well. <laughs> some of it is held in various banks, but the bulk of it is in the Philippines. So the World Bank holds the note on that gold? No. It is in a special trust account that was set up by Ferdinand Marcos. Ah, so that's where the name comes from. Marcos Gold, president of the Philippines from 1965 to 1986. 86, okay. Oh my God! Oh my God! What? The Philippines <laughs> is the richest country in the world. Even President Ronald Reagan knows and said this. Did you know about Marcos Gold? I'm so confused, guys. In 1930, Europe was in a depression and Germany was financially bankrupt. An unknown party leader promised the German people that he could create jobs and boost its economy. The Germans dared him and put him in power. His name is Adolf Hitler. In June 1933, the Vatican and Hitler, Damn. a Roman... I got chills. When he said his name, I got chills. Catholic signed the Concordat for Mutual Protection and Enhancement. Shortly after that, Hitler was loaded with money. He built a massive army and manufactured weapons for war. Then Hitler took Poland. Before 1918, there was no Poland. That land was part of Germany and used as a buffer zone to separate Germany from Russia. Damn. But when Hitler reclaimed it, England declared war on Germany. Throughout the Spanish occupation of the Philippines, members of the Tajin, Talano clan have been visiting Europe since some of their relatives were English and Austrian. From 1866 to 1898, Prince Julian MacLeod Talano had also been frequenting the Vatican. In 1934, under Pope Pius XII, the Vatican negotiated with a member of the Filipino royal family, the Christian Talano clan in Philippines. An agreement was reached that 640,000 metric tons of the Talano gold would be lent to the Pope. This was part of that gold accumulated by the Southeast Asian Empire during its glorious reign of 900 years. In 1939, two members of the Talano family and a Roman Catholic priest, Father Jose Antonio Diaz brought the gold from Cota Kinabalu, Saga, to the Vatican. After doing this, Father Diaz went back to the Philippines and resided in Gubernatrin City. After World War II, he facilitated the safe return of the 640,000 metric tons of gold from the Vatican to the Philippines. A lease agreement was made between the Talano clan and the Philippines government. A total of 617,000 it's so funny how this uh, robotic voice uh, pronounces Philippines. Says, a Philippines, a Philippines. 500 metric tons of gold was deposited in the newly installed Central Bank of the Philippines to comply with its requirements for gold reserve. <laughs> Under the terms of the contract, the Central <coughs> Bank became the holder of that gold. 
that lease agreement will expire in the year 2005. Having gained the trust and confidence of Father Diaz, the Tilano clan made him the main negotiator and trustee of their gold. Father Diaz, in turn, hired the services of attorney Ferdinand de Marcos, then a highly recommended brilliant young lawyer having attained notoriety when he successfully defended himself in an Alanison case in 1939. The Tilano clan paid commission to Father Diaz and attorney Marcos in gold. 30% from the principle of 640,000 metric tons. In 1949, the two richest men in the world were Father Jose Antonio Diaz and attorney Ferdinand de Marcos. What? Between the two of them they legitimately earned and owned 192,000 metric tons of gold. Ferdinand Marcos withdrew their share of the gold from the central bank and minted it. Sometime later, Father Diaz and Marcos brought their gold to Switzerland in the Swiss Bank Corporation in Zurich. The remaining 400,000 metric tons of Talano gold is in the third floor basement of the central bank minting plant in East Avenue, Kazan City, Philippines. There are 950,000 metric tons of gold, declared missing in the International Court of Justice, picked up by Yamashita from its European ally, Hitler. Another 250,000 tons of the Japanese loot around Southeast Asia are both now in the Philippines. This country then became the holder of 1.6 million metric tons of gold bars. Some of the Yamashita gold buried in the Philippines has been found. But the bulk of it is still buried to this day. And even now, thousands are secretly digging for it, including Japanese treasure hunters. The World Street Journal in its November 15, 1985 issue wrote that two-thirds of all gold in the world is in the Philippines. One-third is divided among the rest of the countries in the world. Very few Filipinos know this. In the 70s and 80s, blood money from the Roman Catholic Church, channeled into the Philippines via the Vatican Bank and another foreign power, fueled the flames of dissension in the countryside and on the streets of Manila a concerted church and foreign civil destabilization. Demolition campaign was waged against Marcos. All that gold in the hands of one man like Marcos was a threat to those who have been used for so long with so... So there is an amount that is in the bank and there is an another amount that is like buried somewhere in the Philippines? Much money and power. Marcos became too powerful and would not toe the line of the two established power in the world the Vatican and the Trilateral Commission, USA Germany, Japan. But Marcos was no lapdog to any foreign power. In his grand plan, Marcos wanted to re-establish the former grandeur of the Philippines and the whole region of Southeast Asia, the former Malayan Empire. In June 1983, Marcos appeared before the first world leaders in Toronto. He announced his plan to boost the economy of the Southeast Asian region by creating the Asian dollar. This would be backed up by the 400,000 metric tons of gold in the central bank of the Philippines and the other gold he scattered around the region. I guess that didn't work, right? Because never heard of Asian dollar. He would also add to this his own personal 192,000 metric tons in Switzerland. This Asian dollar, backed up by the two-thirds of all the gold in the world that was in the Philippines would have made the Philippines money more valuable and stronger than the American dollar. This was his vision to raise Southeast Asia to be at par with the rest of the first world countries. When Father Jose Antonio Diaz So what happened? Why did, did it not come to fruition? Yes, alias Severino Sandy Romana, died in 1974 all that 30% commission in gold became legendary Marcos Gold. After providing for his family in Marcos' letter of instruction, the whole wealth derived from this was supposed to be given to the Filipino people. This was the Marcos wealth that some politicians and churchmen kept on saying was the ill-gotten Marcos wealth that until today is in Marcos' secret accounts. Here, 170 packs that Marcos deposited money on. Just to show you the bill of lading, how much is two hundred forty million dollars? Oh my goodness! Is it million? Billion? Billion? <laughs> Billion? Yeah, that makes more sense. 
240 billion dollars holy man that's that's an unfathomable amount of money i can't even imagine that money <laughs> 240 billion. Only one should miss. She's about to faint. 187 billion dollars. Oh my God! You are, you are rich beyond compare. No, this, this will save the world. The world. So, Mrs. Marcos, are you saying you're open to giving some or a, 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 an amount of this one to the country, to the Filipinos? Well, not only the Filipinos, but the world. On April 9, 1973, Marcos said, My earthly goods have been placed into custody and for the disposition of the Marcos Foundation dedicated to the welfare of the Filipino people. I mean, it doesn't seem like Filipinos have access to any of that gold. The existence of Philippine treasure, the gold bullion, and the off-ledger black screen account is the target of Cabal agenda of taking the control of assets. It was Ferdinand Marcos is the... It was Ferdinand Marcos is the... It's weirdly written before FM died. All men are born equal, naked, without bonds. God did not create men to be a slave, nor did he endow him with intelligence to have him hoodwinked or adorn him with reason to have him deceived by others. During a talk show in the US TV, the week following the bombing of the New York Twin Towers, President George Bush was asked this question, which is the richest country in the world today? With a smile, he said, the Philippines. Is it real? You decide. Leave a comment down below. No freaking way. Okay, okay. So we don't know for a fact that this is real. This could be just a legend, right? I mean, hey, it could be real, just like, uh, I don't know, aliens existent, right? Existence, like apparently the, the NASA or whatever hide a lot of uh, secrets about alien existence, you know, and I don't know, maybe this gold also exists, but it's hidden by politicians and scientists and whatever, you know, but honestly, that would be, that would be just a crime against Filipinos and humanity, you know, like seeing how poor, like seeing people in need in the Philippines and not helping them out with some of this. I mean, dude, <laughs> that number was insane. 240 billion. And then I heard 900 and something billion. <sighs> wow. Wow. I mean, hey, if you guys have more information about this, you know, let me know in the comment section below. But it sounds very far-fetched, even though it's crazy that, you know, popular presidents, politicians mentioned the Philippines as the richest country in the world, you know? It's hard, like, we can't, we can't know for sure if they mean what they're saying or if it's just maybe a joke, you know? I don't know. But my God, that's a lot of money. That's a lot of gold. And it's, I mean, if it exists, apparently this Marco's gold is actual gold, like real gold. So, wow, wow. I had no clue. I had no idea, but I just don't trust these YouTube videos where they just throw at you like these shady information with these shady 
uh, you know, screenshots and images, and then you have this robotic uh, voice behind narrating with this dramatic music. Like I've seen people, like friends of mine, get into this kind of crap, you know, and like they lose their minds. They start stressing out and it's just not healthy, you know, like a few years ago, one of my friends went into this rabbit hole and started freaking out about humanity and the Illuminati and all that jazz, you know, I don't know. This stuff doesn't really uh, touch me, you know, I don't let it ruin my day. So I don't know if this is true, but if it is true, give the world this gold and or at least Filipinos, you know, like they could use it. They could definitely use it. So uh, it is your turn to let me know in the comment section below your thoughts on this crazy, crazy information. And uh, as usual, thank you so much for watching. Take care of yourselves. Have a great day and I'll catch you in the next video as usual. Peace. Thank you for watching, subscribe here and please like the video to show your support and appreciation for my work and turn on the notification bell to be poked for future content. Yeah, yeah, yeah.